The comparison game we play in our head is not pleasant, but it's real, especially in the art and lettering world. So today's video is all about how to stop comparing your art and lettering to others in this YouTube series called Creatively Confident. Hey friends, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I will be giving away this print, which you can read more about in the description. All you have to do is be a subscriber and answer this question in the comments. How do you avoid comparing yourself to others? This video will be focused on how to stop comparing your art and lettering specifically on social media, where we just see a snapshot of other people. When you're trying to grow your following, it's important to be active and engaged with other social media accounts, but this can also lead to comparing ourselves and getting really down because no matter how good you are, there will always be someone better. I will be giving you three steps on how to stop comparing your art to others, and they may seem to contradict each other, but stay with me, I promise it will make sense. So the first one is to engage with others more. Sounds like an odd step to stop comparing your art, right? But let me explain. Last summer, I was scrolling through Instagram and I felt so inadequate to all of the talent I was seeing. I started doubting my own talent. I found myself avoiding liking and commenting on posts that made me feel inferior. This continued for a few days before I decided I wanted to change it. I decided to try an experiment. I would comment on any post that I liked, giving the person a genuine compliment, even if it was a post that made me feel inadequate even if there were already hundreds of comments. And what happened surprised me. I started feeling really good because I was spreading positivity. By complimenting someone else, it made me feel better about myself. Not everyone responded to my comments, some did, but I felt good either way. From this specific experiment, I gained a few friends, one that I've even met in person and still chat with pretty frequently. And the second step on how to stop comparing your art to others is actually opposite of the first. This is the one you were probably expecting me to say. So instead of engaging with others, take a break from social media. Turn off all notifications, don't log back in until you're ready. You may even want to put away your lettering or art for a little while. You may be reminded of all the other areas of your life that you feel confident in. Unplugging and taking a break could be exactly what you need to quit the comparing game. When I started feeling the comparing monster creeping into my lettering, I have to decide if I need to start complimenting others more or if I need to unplug altogether. There have been times that I stay off Instagram for a few days and it reminds me of all the simple things I'm grateful for. When I get back on Instagram, it's still there. Most people don't even notice that I was gone. <laughs> and I think that's what you'll find also. Most people won't really notice unless maybe it's for a few months. And the last step to stop comparing your art to others is to learn something new. You may be thinking that you would feel even more inadequate because there's no way you'll be good at something you've never done before. But that's exactly why it helps. There's no pressure to be really good at it when it's brand new. You may not have time to spend weeks perfecting a new skill, but you don't need to. Even taking a basic class could be enough to kick out those comparing feelings. YouTube or Skillshare is a great resource for this. I recently launched my first Skillshare class, and since then I have been taking all the classes and I've been loving it. Because on Skillshare, you can take a 45 minute class and end up with a pretty cool project. This weekend, I was feeling really stuck with a new project I'm working on. My husband and I took a Skillshare class that was different for both of us. The class was a watercolor night sky, like this one I'm painting here, by Colby from This Writing Desk. I have really only done watercolor lettering, so to create a whole scene was new to me, and my husband had never even touched watercolor before. Because it was new, we had no expectation of how it would turn out. We had a lot of fun. 
and it helped me feel good about what I was creating without comparing it to others. None of us are immune to comparing ourselves to others, but we don't have to live like that. I hope you take the steps today to stop comparing and let your own beauty shine. So here's the time lapse of me and my husband taking this class. This was our first attempt. It's pretty fun to watch, especially my husband, since this is his first time ever with watercolor. He goes a little rogue on the trees coming up later. At the end, I'll show you the final and then also our second attempt. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you next time.